So all objects in the universe attract each other through the force of gravity. So the same force that causes this pin to drop is the same force that is responsible for the motion of the planets in the universe. It's all because of gravity. And Newton came up with an equation um, that allows you to calculate the force of this gravity. And the equation, the equation is called the universal gravitation equation. And here's how it works. So uh, it starts off as force, using the letter F to represent force. So the force of gravity equals the constant G. I call it a constant because it'll always be the same number, and I'll talk more about that in a second, is the constant G times m1 times m2 divided by distance squared, okay? So this m1 and this m2 here can be the mass of any two objects that have a gravitational pull upon each other. So for example, we could say that m2 is the mass of Earth. And M1 could be the mass of you on Earth. You. Okay? So to calculate the force of, uh, the gravitational force of you on Earth, you would do F equals the constant G times your mass multiplied by the Earth's mass divided by the distance squared. And distance squared is the distance between the center of you at your torso level to the center of Earth, okay? So, that is the equation. And this G, this G is a constant, and it's a really, it's a really small number, check it out. So G is 6.67 .6 times 10 to the negative 11. Very, very, very small number, okay? But it will always be the same number. So you may be looking at this equation and thinking, well, I mean, this, this is basically saying that the mass of any two objects um, could have a gravitational pull um, on, e on each other. And this is right, actually. Um, for example, what if M2 was the, uh, the tablet that you're holding in your hands right now, or the computer monitor that you're sitting in front of right now? What if we said that was M2? So we could say comp monitor, computer monitor. Well, if you put into this equation, doesn't, don't these have a gravitational force? And the answer is yes. But the gravitational force is so small that it's basically negligible. You don't, you don't even pay attention to it. You don't feel it. It's, it's there, but you don't, you don't feel the tablet being pushed towards your face, and you don't feel your face getting pulled towards the tablet. It's, it's there, but it's not strong enough. These masses are very small. The mass of you and the mass of the computer monitor multiplied by the G are very small, and they produce a very, very small force. But if you're talking about the mass of you multiplied the ma by the mass of a massive object like Earth, That's when you experience a force that's large enough to actually feel and observe, okay? So here it is. This is Newton's universal gravitation equation, and it's used to calculate the force of gravity. And it's used to explain how, um, how massive an object needs to be in order to actually feel <laughs> gravity. Um, and the equation is also saying that the gravitational force increases as one or more masses increase. I mean, you can see here, if this mass went up and up and up and up, well, of course, the gravitational force would increase. If the mass of you kept going up and up and up, well, the gravitational force would increase, okay? It's also saying that gravitational force decreases as the distance between the two masses increases. So. Let's say the distance between you and 
Earth increase? You're flying away from Earth. So the distance between you and Earth is increasing in this situation that we're talking about now. That would mean that you're dividing by a larger number for D and squaring it, okay? So the number in the denominator is getting larger and larger and larger, while the number in the numerator is staying the same. This would result in a smaller gravitational force. And that, that explains why, as you get further and further away from Earth, the force of gravity goes down, okay? So this equation actually explains a lot, if you play around with it, it explains a lot about the force of gravity.